to a very sadistic episode. Welcome to the talk zone. That's weird. Welcome to the talk zone. <laughs> this episode, the writing's on the wall about video games. Yep. And we have, let's see, there's like eight things there. Four things matter. <laughs> I think, oh, the article, too. Oh, the article up. Uh, so, Colin, how are you doing? I'm great. I've been playing a lot of video games. I'm out of school. I couldn't be happier right now. And we're going to watch uh, some NBA playoff basketball. So life is good. And I've been, I've been replaying so many games. Just at least like sort of just playing them a little bit. Just enough because I'm like, I, I played Persona for maybe like three hours. And I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn again. I'm playing God of War. I'm playing Hollow Knight. It's just, life is fucking good as far as that goes too. You're playing four games at the same time. And Fortnite and Overwatch. We've been playing Whoa. as well. Are you playing four games at the same time? I, I don't know. I'm just... I have more time. <laughs> so, uh, you're, how? <laughs> how do I have more time? Because I'm i not studying. And I'm also waking up early. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just playing a lot. I mean, hacka tough. To it, it's... Hacka. I think you've, you've done that before, haven't Hell you? Hell no! Yeah, what? Hi, my name is Gangrel. What's up, Gangrel? <laughs> How are you, how are you today? Four games. I, I can barely play one. Really? Time. Yeah. It's not like a time management thing. It's like a... My yeah. brain needs to be in one spot. I feel, like I, would, I feel like I would forget that I'm playing other games. Mm -hmm. Then later when I pick up more games, I'm like, oh, crud. I have to go back. I forgot about these games. Yeah. That's what I had with God of War today. I haven't played that in like two or three weeks. And I picked it up. I'm like, what? Oh, where the... I, did, I don't you know. Three weeks ago? It, it, something like that. Where have I been? <laughs> I put it down for a while. I know it came out longer than that. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I, I picked it up today, and I hadn't played it in weeks. And I was just like, "Where the? What am I doing? I have absolutely no clue where I am." I, that's that's kind of the one thing. So that's why I've been I've been replaying like Persona Five or something, where it's like I can jump back into that because I already know all kind of what happens. Now it's different. I, I Like, my opinions of everybody just like, oh, you. Yeah. I missed you. You're terrible in battle. <laughs> You're a good person, but you just don't have belong on the battlefield, yeah. ma'am. Yeah, Ryuji. Can't do it. What? Sorry, I never use Ryuji. Final. Final. What's the final group? Really? Yeah, my second boyfriend's my always final battle partner. Well, okay, no, no, no. That's a damn lie. I'm talking to you, Yusuke. <laughs> <laughs> Yusuke was strong as hell. Oh, no. Uh, Persona 2. Oh, Persona Four, 2. 2. 4. Oh. Yusuke. Oh, here. Stupid jingle bells. <laughs> All right, anyway. Deliver, right? Welcome to the games cast. So, well, what you, so well, there is actually a lot to get to. Look at that. Which Two one do you want to start with? Let's start with Fortnite Thanos. Because it happened, but we didn't get to talk about it. Yeah, I, I didn't ever, I didn't even play it yet. Oh, yeah, I didn't play it. Is it fun? You, you played it. That's cool. I think Nate, he talked okay. about it. I never I got to. Try he, right now. he got to beat Thanos. Uh, he said that. Yeah, it's cool. And so if you get at the right time, it works out for you. You get to the camp a bit, pick your battles. But if you just jump in the thick of it, of course. 10 people try to get at you but those 10 people are stupid try to turn on each other and it's in your favor hmm. it's like being in the middle of a Marvel Civil War it's Thanos that is actually really cool it's it's sort of a mode where it's single player but at the same time you have to team up in order to beat the guy who's probably gonna win the entire fucking game and make him twerk it's like the enemy of my enemy is my friend I make him twerk it's horrible yeah there's two people I, I got to like a little shack I might have been like uh, 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 60 feet away from Thanos mm -hmm. and I see another guy behind a tree and it was at that moment where I decided to try to be human in a video game I was like this is <laughs> fine we're, we're gonna work together we're gonna approach Thanos get him a little health turn around try to shoot each other yeah naturally mm -hmm. my plan was to be behind him and just freaking shoot him okay so <laughs> I thought he saw me he didn't see me so I'm running next to him all of a sudden he just turns around and shoots me <laughs> This dude had no peripheral freaking vision. <laughs> Yeesh. But I think it, as far as it goes for Fortnite as a franchise, it's pretty nutty. It's nutty as heck. It's bizarre. Say, if I didn't want to swear, I'd say jumping Jehoshaphat, great cotton picky silly nannies. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, this is possible. <laughs> it really, it's, it's bizarre and it's smart. 
we were talking about it before. It's the most popular game with probably the most popular movie right now. Uh-huh. That's... I, I don't know who came to who. I would imagine it would be Epic that came to Marvel. Or, I, or was it Marvel that just was like, hey... Because I wouldn't be surprised. Like, it's... It's literally talked about everywhere. There's people I, I never even spoke a word to as far as video games go. And they mm. went, hey, are you playing Fortnite? Mm. And I was like... I tried to take a picture what? of the back of someone's car on the way off. The freaking 5... No, yeah, the 405. On the back of it, it said, number one, Victory Royale. It was like an SUV. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows about Fortnite calling. What is it? I, it's, Every, this is the it's game. It's a phenomenon. This is the uh, the game, another one that's bridging the gap between the common folk and gamers yeah. once again. Yeah, it's like Mario in that way. Mario's like literally one of those. Yep, it's like Pokemon Go all over again. Hey, hey, that too. Yeah. It's yeah, you know, you were saying last night that it might win game of the year. I I have a weird thing about not wanting games that I guess technically aren't finished, but I, I mean, look, man, it, it, Kind of Drake and Thanos might have just like won it. <laughs> we never, yeah, we didn't even talk about. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? We talked about Drake on the episode. We never like had a sit down talk. No, we think we did on a podcast. Did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. Yeah, the last. Yeah, yeah the E three podcast. Thanos, Go listen to that right now. This game has more star power than honestly a talk show host could have in a week. <laughs> this game has more buzz. Aww. Than the Beehive in Colin's bathroom, which yeah. you'll hear about. Oh, that's, that's a podcast. Yeah, this is gonna be a different podcast. Oh, geez, so. Uh, I'm just flabbergasted, as you can tell. I yeah. thought I had things ready to say about this game, but I just don't. Because we're only in May. We freaked the hell out when Overwatch was doing cool <laughs> Summer Olympic stuff. Yeah. We're only in May. This game, this, this <laughs> year, I, I was saying earlier before we started that this year is quickly also becoming one of the best years in video games. Mm-hmm. And it's bizarre. But in, in the ways that aren't just about games, mm-hmm. but that have just sort of reached, as you said, kind of an entire audience. There was a... I, th- I think I told you guys about that news report that kid playing... Uh, he was playing Fortnite while a tornado was coming towards his house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just... I hear it everywhere. It's biz- it's really bizarre. So it might actually win a game of the year. Chicken dinner floated away, way, way, yeah. way. PUBG's trying, man. It hurts. It's kind of... Con- I don't even give a damn. <laughs> My new girl... She don't even have, like, a huge booty or anything like that. Oh, but that's... golly... Me and her, we go like skydiving every week. We <laughs> land in the murky mines, yeah. <laughs> and we glide around. What is it? What is uh? Sh- what is the freaking? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember any Machu of the names Pichu. anymore. No, fucking shores, sandy shores, sandy shores, sandy, sandy <laughs> cheek shores. Yeah, shady. We spend the weekends there. <laughs> it's, and oh. uh, we have to move on. We also have to talk about this forever. Walmart leaked a lot of things. Yeah, they did that. You can get bread cheap. You can get back to school supplies for very cheap. Mm-hmm. You can also find out when your your favorite video games are going to come out <laughs> yeah. a year in advance. <laughs> so, who? Which one was leaked again? Was it? It was. Uh, was it Rage? Yeah, Rage Two seems to be the one true thing that came to fruition. I guess out of this leak, everything else was either like a horrible box thumbnail used or. I expect it. Yeah, just put in the yeah. it's put in the store as in like, like oh hey, here's this coming. And Death like, Stranding TBA, for example, like freaking A. <laughs> TBA, I guess it's TBA at the end. So this is you, already announced. Have you seen the trailer for Rage Two? I did. What do you think of it? It looks amazing. I've never played. I have never played Rage. I've heard of it, but I really never delved into it. And then it kind of came out of nowhere. And you were tweeting about it, and you're like. This game in 2010 was the actual shit. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> and I'm sad I missed it cuz that was where I was really like knee deep in video games. Mm-hmm. I don't really it's the like thing. That's the thing, Colin. It's all science my friend. <laughs> it, 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 that BioShock 2? Yeah, it was a year of the 2s. I think we might have even joked about that eight years ago. Folks, that shows you our comedy. <laughs> Mass Effect 2, Bioshock 2, Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, I think Limbo might have came out a year before or after that. A bunch of indie games. There were even twos. funny games came out in 2010. It was maybe not its time hmm. as a shooter. That stinks. I guess yeah. it's not the first time that's happened, at least in recent history, too. Like, So, A Way Out is a great example of that where that yeah. game just sort of got is just under the radar because at least something eclipsed it mm. and in 2017 there was probably a game like that that I can't even think of where there was just there was this gigantic 
pile of amazing games that sort of changed that entire year were then the ones that were still really, really good. Okay, Titanfall. Titanfall is a good example of something like that, where it's like that game came out during a pretty decent year, and that game was at the bottom, that game's amazing. I ran into a guy that worked on Titanfall and still is in the industry. And really? GameStop. Yeah. It just seems kind of bitter. Okay, but oh. you know why uh, Rage might have failed? Why? Colin, you know about release dates now. Yeah. If you're going to release a great game, you're... Big wig rock star. What's your? Give me your big wig voice. What? My your, what voice? Your big wig money maker. Your rock star. Well, you hello there. I'm a rock star, and I'm here to tell you that Red Dead Redemption Two is going to be on sale mm-hmm. on September seventh or whatever the fuck. I don't right. remember. You, you, and then and some... then I screw everyone else in September. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I suck my dick. <laughs> I say. I say. <laughs> Between September and like end of November, right? Uh huh. The first rage came out November seventeenth. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So everything <laughs> just yeah. Oh. It had no the chance. Pi- the, pile, the pile. It had no chance. <laughs> okay, wait. So what came out from September to November? I mean, if you think about it, everything we know that usually comes out. Mm-hmm. Mass Effect. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. All the, literally just those ones that you mentioned Bioshock, earlier. Bioshock, probably. Yeah, all the ones you mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, okay, so when was the release date for Rage revealed? I don't remember that. I d- uh, it was re- revealed at Glass earlier this week. Either earlier this week or the, the re- end of the last The release date week. came out, because I don't remember seeing, because I saw the trailer. Oh, yeah, the release date was, like, on the end of one of the trailers. And no, it was announced later okay. during the day. It was, like, March next year. Mm-hmm. Not bad. What's yeah. coming out? I don't know, even know what's coming out by next year as far as March goes, so that could be a good release hey, window. Well, fi- it's a good time to go on to our next topic of E3, since Bethesda claims to have a very long conference. Let's go back to 2015 or 2016 Ubisoft, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> where I didn't no, know where that. Can we hell, not? <laughs> I didn't know where it was at the end of their conference. Yeah. It was two really? hours. It was forever. Two hours. Oh my god! And most oh. of it wasn't very good. And you're just like, this is. Oh my god! Oh. Well, so well, so what do you think they're gonna show? For well, fuck all. <laughs> I don't know. What can you what can you what can you show? <laughs> so long. I have no idea what you could show. When did Fallout 4 do you think they're gonna bring out Fallout 5? I heard a good theory. <laughs> I think one of the IGN podcasts, they no, they said that Skyrim yeah. 2. Skyrim 2? Just saying not Elder Scrolls 6? Exactly. Just saying it as Skyrim 2 would be like the most balling move ever. Because people don't refer to it as the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. It's just Skyrim. Yeah, pretty much. So what if they like tease that? I would be down. But how do you make Skyrim look? Because it's supposed to isn't it's supposed to like stay with the lore and all that. So like, would yeah. the map get any bigger? They I guess they could just add whatever calling. they want. Yeah, they have three hours. <laughs> <laughs> three hours? Wait, 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 wait. That's they what said, I'm guessing. Uh, wait, 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 let's, let's do bets right now. Okay. How long do you think? Oh, Lord, how long do you think Bethesda's press conference is going to be? I, I mean, it could be. I don't know what they could announce. If we think about what they would announce, it could be something like that. But I'm saying over two. You really think over two? I think it. Go, I think it'll be right at two. I'm saying a solid over two hours. Holy shit! Like, so are they going to go? They're going to be one of the last of probably E3 and draw it out. I don't know. I don't care either. I don't, I'm not watching that. I, I love them as we a company. We have to. Who has to? Man? We have to. I'm going to work. We have to. <laughs> I don't got time for like, that. I was going to call out. I was, and they released that. I was like, I'm so fucking. Yeah, I'll see that later. <laughs> what the heck? You're watching a Godfather movie of video games? But across the hallway will be Smash at E3 mm-hmm. happening. Got a good old tournament with a lot of notable figures missing. That was weird. Got to tell you, just yeah, that was bizarre. Was I didn't do. I didn't do anything. Uh, what do you think was going to happen with Smash? As you know, it seems every year Nintendo does a great job of veering their stage mm-hmm. and the room they have towards one game, which is smart. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. So to push more switches, I guess, or to I don't know what this is. It seems bigger than it really should. You know. 
Even Oops. a few casual people at my job know about Smash Switch. Maybe because they're kids or something like mm-hmm. that, but... That's probably part of it. This feels like a launch, like a huge launch. Smash is one of Nintendo's top five best titles now. It's mm-hmm. just... It's up there. P- yeah. People... There's, there's memes about it that people who've never played Smash know what that is. Like, somebody would say, Fox, no items, Final Destination. Like, stuff like... like people know about Smash to, like, get in somebody's face, and it's... Mm-hmm. It's definitely more in the casual sphere than it used to be, at least from where we grew up. It was yeah. like, just wasn't there. And something about this year, maybe it's just because video games are like put on a, a, a bigger pedestal in Smash's lifetime. That's probably part of it, too. And where it's like, like video. Well, I guess the Wii actually was really high. Was pretty up there. Everyone knew about the Wii. Um, I mean, the generation of celebrities, too. That, how, yeah. Uh, everyone's open about being nerds. Exactly. And into yeah. gaming. It's something where it's, it's much more accepted and people like parents are going to hear about it and stuff mm-hmm. like that so I, I mean that's kind of funny I don't know I don't know what it's going to be though I have no I have no clue yeah, I don't think it's going to I think it's going to be new I don't think it's going to be a port but that's a hope it's not going to be it's been I think they said it's not going to be a port when did they say that everyone on Smash Reddit just confirmed they mm-hmm. didn't confirm but it's just between a, that trailer and now all signs point to it being a new game that's awesome I really hope so because uh- Big ups to the the dead man Sakurai. <laughs> dead man. He actually said there was a report that he's actually not killing himself while making this game, or he didn't mm. kill himself, yeah. which is great. I'm just very happy. The like he left just, his wife. The knife is just dangling over the ceiling fan like a saw trap. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sir, uh, why did you rig that yourself? Oh, I'm just you know, keep myself on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these votes. Look how smart everyone is. I got a oh, Bayonetta. Oh, uh, sir, what do you think? Uh, Bayonetta back in the game? The knife lowers. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be happier to do it. <laughs> For sure, do you think we should have another fan vote? The knife gets lower. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, sucks and quad. <laughs> Let's go to work, team. <laughs> I loved making those animations. My wife left me. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> or do. I have nothing to look. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that, like everything was taken during Smash. Um, no, I don't know, man. I I, I, I think the Invitational is cool. And I'm glad people are like this excited about Smash. And like exactly. this is, it's also for the online, yeah. Nintendo online thing. So that's, oh, a, that's, that's a whole other topic we, we could get into. Or do you want to save it? That, I mean... I don't. I, I kind of want to hear more. I want to hear a lot more about what's going to happen, and I think it's going to happen at the same time as they announced Smash for Switch. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say Smash for Switch anymore. You just Smash. Just, just called Smash. Smash. It was just called Smash. Yeah. Like partner with Five Gum and just merge it together. Whatever. <laughs> Five Gum presents <laughs> Smash. <laughs> feels what it, chew, it feels to chew Five Gum I with will... Smash Brothers today. Chew your your whole best bite. Yeah, exactly. I will tell you what I do want. Sora and Smash. Is that going to happen? Do you think they're going to get another Square Enix character in their fucking... But you know what I got? Huh? It was a Kingdom Hearts 3 press event that I went to on Friday. What? Then I woke up and I was like, my life's just shit. (laughs) And so we got footage and some more info about Kingdom Hearts I met Santa. Yeah, I met Santa. (laughs) I rode on a gummy ship. <laughs> that was great. Man, <laughs> okay, so you did you see the trailer and you saw the game? There was like 20 minutes of gameplay, I think? I didn't see the 20 minutes of gameplay, but I read about how the mechanics will work out. And how do you feel about it? Because oh, you're the Kingdom Hearts so expert better. in the room. Oh, God, it's so much better. Really? From what I'm reading right now, it the Keyblades, it's not going to be so much it's going to boost your HP, lower it, some hidden effect. It's mm-hmm. going to actually change your moveset. Oh, really? I think they're going to get... It's not the same swipes mm, in a row kind like, of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it'll be a little stronger. Might have more reach for some Keyblades, but, mm-hmm. you know, just aesthetically, it's better, and stat-wise, you want to equip it. Yeah. But then you had to equip abilities to change up how you fight, to add okay. combos and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be included with Keyblades. You can ride Disney ships, as we saw in the trailers before. It looks, that works out pretty well. It fits in. Mm. Uh, you saw the... What's his name? Fuck me up, Fred. <laughs> yeah, fuck me up. What's, what's yeah, Ralph. wreck Ralph. Yeah, I like that name better. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me up, Fred. I, was, I said I was trying to swear less. <laughs> wreck Ralph, you summon like little turrets and looks like another... Wait, no, 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 no. 
the keyblades <laughs> are they're binded to the D-pad. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, so that's some Dark go. Souls kind of stuff too. You literally can switch on the go. Well, sort of. No, yeah, no, no. But like much more. Wait, okay, so the lists are bigger. It's not just like one or two. No, it's like on um, one, two, three, four. It's be like uh, Keyblade one, two, three, four. So like. Oh yeah. Okay. You're stabbing, stabbing. I guess more so like older school God of War, like Devil May Cry. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah. That makes yeah sense. So PS2 action. Imagine that. Yeah. Switching weapons type of stuff. Yeah, exactly. You almost Dark Souls by Kingdom Hearts. Call sorry, it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to compare. Okay. It's like Dark Souls and Kingdom Hearts of Dark Souls. Oh, my One God. Ring to f- and the dark. Oh, everything's being compared to Dark Souls. Get it? Because Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> One ring. Do you know, I saw... I, I saw. Uh, so Colin Moriarty tweeted this thing, and it was like... It reminded me of a Dark Souls thing, but it was a little more political. It, or sort of. It was a LGBTQT... Uh, thing and it says are straight black men the white men of black men yeah i was gonna, <laughs> I was like, I was gonna reply to him when i saw that i was gonna say <laughs> man i don't even know man <laughs> <laughs> i saw i was like what <laughs> all right <laughs> what? <laughs> all right anyway yeah that's that's what that reminded me of but kingdom hearts 3 looks really really good and they said yeah. there's a release date coming soon did they say yeah. it yeah please be excited is that what they said at the no, end? No, no. Oh, thank God. I was like, oh, no. I want, I, that announcement hit me in the back room of Big Five. What was it, 2012? Uh-huh. That's fun. And they said, please be excited? Yep. And I stood there looking at my phone with my mouth ajar. <laughs> <laughs> 2012? This game's taking that long. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. And no fucking release date still. At least they, uh, this is all I need. I'm actually confident this is happening. Okay. So all right, that's good. Let's move on to something else that's gonna be big. Hmm. Go Pikachu. Go Ive. I should probably I, say it in Japanese. I have. I go Pikachu. Go Ive. Go Ive. Ive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually have no idea what this is. <laughs> I know what it is. I have no clue what is it. I have. <laughs> I saw it and I. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, "The fuck! I don't. I just didn't." It's a terror brew translation. <laughs> it's a terror brew. <laughs> Impossible. All I can tell you is that the go thing is, as I guess, it's just a Japanese thing translated to American. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I guess, the <clears throat> thing, like excitement, like yeah, that thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Evie and Pikachu. Oh, come on, like yeah. go, let's fighting love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So it's going to take place in the Kanto regions, mm-hmm. right? That's where the first games take place. Oh, the first ones, yes. Yeah, the first few games take place in the Kanto regions. Mm-hmm. It's going to be updated like Pokemon Black and White. Was it Johto? No, 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 it's, it's, no it's Kanto. It's Kanto. Yeah, because then I just remembered Pokemon Johto. Okay, anyway. And that's all we know so far. Hmm. But update, of course. So it's everything we know from before, but with fake game covers and an E3 <laughs> announcement coming up. So please be hmm. excited. <laughs> I like that. Man. It's like a meme. I, I mean, Pokemon's going to sell well. It's no matter pretty much what it does. I feel so. I'm excited. I'm actually just excited to see if that's at E3. I just want to play black and white now. I f- I want to jump around. I don't want to beat mm-hmm. them. God no. I just... How come? I feel like I would try so hard to catch all the Pokemon. I just want to get a little. Oh, you like seven hundred of them. <laughs> I want to get like a sampler palette town of uh, all the games and <laughs> no I'm leaving no <laughs> goodbye <laughs> I saw that. son of a bitch <laughs> I want to get like a sampler palette of how they updated through the years because I didn't play anything past whatever the heck generation was 2009 mm. I think they're going to definitely get a vermilion unit sold Oh, really? Nothing? Oh, my God. I was like... <laughs> I like, used a bus. I was like... <laughs> I did a bus. I was like, come oh on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I... Well, no, I, I was making a jargon joke. I've never heard in my life. <laughs> what the fuck is a vermilion? It looked like I got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I... I mean, I'm excited to see what it is. Mm-hmm. I, I don't... I, I think that's smart to kind of get a sampler because eventually they're going to probably do more stuff like this. Yeah. I would assume. Or maybe this is just an exclusive just we sell Pikachu like a motherfucker. Sorry. Cursing. But it really is. If it does. 
It's still going to be amazing. That's the worst part. Probably. <laughs> Pokemon usually does pretty well. I've heard the games got easier, though, and that kind of makes me sad. That, hopefully, oh, geez, they got to fix that then. I don't know if that's a bad or a good thing, though, because I haven't well, played it, so I don't really have a right to, like, that's dumb. Like, I, You know what I mean? I don't know. I like the, a challenge. That's just my opinion. Uh, and it does harken back to the whole God of War I heard is too easy, but that's the reason why they play difficulty modes in games. Yeah. People do always put an old mix on how they play Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So, one thing that irks me about Game Facts a long time ago, yeah, is oh, this part's not too bad. I just stayed in the first section and grinded out till I was level fifty, advanced through the game like it was nothing. I'm like, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, motherfucker. I'm in elementary school. I don't have time. For that. <laughs> what the hell? Are you I don't get strong about? fast. Like, that's, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not advice. That's bragging in my face. So like, I want to be yeah. able to do like I made that progression naturally. It felt like in Pokemon. Yeah, earlier. And it feels like people want to go back to that early Pokemon game way mm-hmm. and that formula. You also had a good... Especially have, after oh, Sun and Moon. Uh, I still... I played only a little bit of Sun. The only thing I can ever... I could truly be like that stunk was just how long the cutscenes were. Uh, they dra- they dragged on, man. Mm-hmm. Now, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I heard, were a lot different. Those came out? Yeah. The, I sold a crap load of them last year. I had no idea. I yeah, thought they yeah. out a little later. Ugh. Nope, no. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon has been out, uh, but that apparently it's better. But like, uh, I don't know. I get, so in the older ones, you also had to have a like a well rounded team. It wasn't just about like if you did have some person who's like level fifty the whole time in like a level thirty area. Yeah, you're gonna just beat everybody's butt. But like, like the, the whole kind of aspect of that it was like if you're if I think they pretty much encourage that in these older mm-hmm. games because like that or these newer games. I'm sorry because that's what Sun did mm-hmm. is you automatically have XP share. So your whole team just gets strong for just keeping one guy out there and kicking butt. And that's like, I don't really, it was very monotonous. That, like, I didn't have to think. I'm going to have to look that up, too. I wanna, that's why I'm looking at the past Pokemon games to see how early we get those. Yeah. I wanna, what are, what time are we at? Cause I wanna, let's break this down. 28 minutes. What makes I'm not doing anything. Pokemon feel like you're a kid actually going from city to city Attaining what you need to grow. Attaining mm. what you need to help your Pokemon grow as well. Like, accidentally meeting the right people at the daycare center guy. Mm-hmm. I was like, <clears throat> Mom, what's daycare? They're like, oh, it's what you, it's like what you go to, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. Okay. I was like, okay. I'm going to put my Pokemon in daycare. Yeah. And I like, learned that. And that like, dude's in the bushes for some reason. He's, he's in a weird place. He's like in the middle of this road, just like covered by everything. So did that it doesn't happen, of course, that fast. But it, if you can beat that <clears throat> harlot of a gym leader, Misty, oh, you, you get there. How dare you? So like, I had a I had a big ass crush on her when I was like seven. <laughs> there's a reason. That, well, that's another thing we'll talk about another day. A re- <laughs> a characters should not look like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I tried watching the the newer updated episodes. Uh huh. And with my, cause my little uh, nephew when he was here during Christmas, I would watch Pokemon with him. And it was mm-hmm. actually pretty good. It held up. The battles were cool. Then Misty came on screen. I was like, <laughs> I want to like cover his eyes. <laughs> Just like, this shirt all the way up. Like, were like, I was like, come on. Her shirt so, honestly looked like it would actually have like under boob with yeah. how high that, that shit was. Like, it was me. Yeah, it like, was What did intense. it take to get to Misty? Because Misty was a tough cookie for me. Yeah. Oh, did so, you, wait, who'd you pick first? Uh, the first time, do you I remember? I, I, uh, blah, 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 Charmander. Yeah, I did the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that sucked. But then at the same time, Oddish was around. So that forced me to go out and find that. Exactly. So, like, if you got things to make it easier, just so you could show that you're trying to put a story in. Mm-hmm. We're just talking about how game design is a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... They, <laughs> People want, you know... You try to give them what they want, but you end up doing it too much. So now you got to kind of go backwards somehow. Yeah, in this new game they're doing now make it simpler and more effective yeah. at the same time. Like it's 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 well not I guess not simpler, but just add something that makes sense. Because so like at the start of the game, the whole point is that you pick one of the Pokemon and then you fight Gary immediately, and he goes, yeah. "This is how types work." And the, you know what I mean? Like that's it, and so you just like put two and two together, and you're like, oh, I need different types, and you would experiment, and then it was like it, it was like some sort of 
like incentive to do that. It didn't feel when I played Sun, I was just I used the same Pokemon. It didn't matter what the type was because I eventually did have to catch Pokemon, but I just wanted to be well rounded. But it didn't yeah. matter because everybody was going as fast as I was, and I was grinding. I'm usually one of those oh, people yeah, that I that I, I grind a little bit before I go to gyms just to yeah. make sure I have a, a fighting chance. Champ in the making. So eventually, all, everyone's game? just as strong as the first guy. Like, maybe a little bit less just because of how the XP share works, but it's, uh-huh. again, just no real yeah, incentive. Yeah, there's no milk tank rollout. <laughs> Fuck that move. <laughs> I fucking hate that move. That move was a mother... Sorry, I'm mad now. All right, anyway. This is, this is our segment to show that we're not old. <laughs> fucking kids. <laughs> okay. Also, well, so let's let's get to these last ones real quick. Because what, what time is the game? Oh god. Okay, we got we got yeah. We have probably about five minutes. So we'll end on the leak that happened today. Mm-hmm. As of what is May eight nineteenth? Uh May nineteenth. Yep. So Black Ops Four, pretty much uh, over four. Black down. Player, <laughs> player black unknown. Wait, no, that's not Play- <laughs> probably because. Uh, <laughs> Blockouts 4 Battle Royale yeah. is doing what I've kind of been secretly waiting for. Just somebody to do this, but actually have, I don't know, a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. It's like the, my favorite quote from Workaholics is the lady boss. Is I uh, turn Durs evil, whatever. She's like, come on, Durs. Let me show you how the big dick swag. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's exactly. <laughs> hey, Epic, look at this big dick swag. <laughs> Play, they're like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> we have Thanos. We have Thanos. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, I was like, wow, that is just. <laughs> <laughs> wow, employee boss difference right there. Oh, yeah. My God. So like, just, wow, I just cannot wait. It's going to be crisp. It's probably going to be a little easier to see people because mm-hmm. you don't have to build. I'm, the build is not bad, but shit, we've been playing Fortnite for a while. Mm. It's getting tough. Well, things will just stick out better. They're just going to have access to better tools for making video games. I mean, that's just the, you know what I mean? It's all gonna be everything's going to look better. In one game. That's pretty nuts. Holy and, crap. And they said they com- they had the biggest map they ever made, and they said they were combining maps of other Black Ops. I think that's what they said. I, I could be wrong. I read something about Nuketown. Oh, there you go. Yeah, then that's what they're doing. So they're making it. The only thing that's not reported is how many people, mm-hmm. which if it's 32, because I saw Bolin, actually, so Bolin retweeted that. They said that the engines that they usually use only allow up to 32 people in one map. Well. So I don't know. If, I, it's I don't okay. My thought on it is that I don't think I need a hundred, but it's the aspect of a hundred is sort of appealing, or I guess something I guess we're used to. I don't really I can't put a finger on it, but something about that just made me go, huh? I'm not really. It could be it could be good. It doesn't matter. It could not matter, but I don't know something about that may it didn't irk me. But I was like hmm, maybe that's. The only thing they could have done not entirely right. Yeah. But... But I don't know. Wouldn't they ruin it by releasing a season pass and DLC? They would. But guess what? What? They didn't. What? And the narrator said, but in fact they didn't. It was on this day. Yeah, I... I, Dude. This is on this day. Yeah. (laughs) This is huge. Wait, where's the... We should not put this on ourselves. Who wrote this? Matthew Harris. That sounds fake as hell. <laughs> That's just like the most... Ch- John Smith. Build your character, Matthew Harris. Yeah, exactly. I'm default. <laughs> uh, let me know how to scroll down. Uh, okay. Since the reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on Thursday, there has been one thing on everyone's mind. What about DLCs? <laughs> Over the recent years, the reveal of the game has also come with the reveal of a season pass. Alongside the players that have usually been given the ability to buy the season pass then and there. This has not been the case with Black Ops 4. So, four, blah, blah, so far, no season pass. <laughs> has been announced and a specialist edition of the game has been revealed without it. Even though it actually does come with the game and there's no season pass. W- that is the first time I have seen a special edition with no season pass. This is damning. Except for Mass Effect when it didn't have the game. 
<laughs> that was the, that was my favorite one. All right, anyway. <laughs> I'm just showing you how bad it could have been. You know what I mean? Gaming Intel has received exclusive information from multiple sources, or from multiple sources, I'm sorry, that explains its unexpected lack of a season pass. Our exclusive sources claim that there will be a radical shift in how content in highlight a radical shift in content is provided for how for both the multiplayer and zombie modes in Black Ops 4 moving from an overall season pass model with four multiplayer maps and one zombies map released every couple months to something completely different that's pretty that pretty much sums that up yeah this is gonna blow up over the weekend I feel after the hullabaloo of the end of 2017 <laughs> This is pretty big. This is enormous. This is pretty big. This might change the actual culture of something that guys like Jim Sterling have been on about for... Yeah, Years. I, yeah, <laughs> oh, dude. Years. He's been at war of that forever. And it's just like... So now it's almost like people are hearing him now and people are actually doing what people like Funhouse have said for a long time. They're yeah. speaking with their wallets. Yes. Thank oh, God. It takes a long time, but it eventually happens. Just got to stay true to your word. Yeah. So, Thank God for Reddit and stuff like that, where yeah. you guys should communicate and be like, you're all! Stand together. <laughs> Don't let <laughs> save from that war. <laughs> They'll never take our freedom! And they separate it in a really cool way. It looks like it's what usually is combined with GameStop, EB Games type of stuff, the statue, all that. Yeah. But not anything to, you know. What are points, keep- though? The points for bonus digital items. I'm guessing for, like, mm. Wakandums, like, scarves, maybe. <laughs> Wakandums. Like, cosmetics. <laughs> they put... <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they also said about the map, so they're not really seeing... Uh. Oh, yeah, because the season pass, also, the holders would get, I think, a map a month earlier... Or, like, another console brand would get something earlier mm-hmm. than the other console. Uh, people would get something earlier as well. So, it looks like everyone's getting everything at the same time. Yeah. Just like you wouldn't. Oh, <coughs> watch your heart night. <laughs> or play unknown if you still playing that. If, if you are. Well, it's just, it's going back to an older model or at least a model that people are okay with if maybe there's something like, as you kind of said, Overwatch, where mm-hmm. it's like, they had a mercy skin. That's the only amount of money I've ever spent on Overwatch because uh, of the recent one for like breast cancer. Yeah, and that's kind of stuff that I think a lot of people will be okay with. But if mm. you literally take out parts of the game, that's just been everyone's sort of biggest issue with that. Yeah. So the fact that they're changing that and Call of Duty of all people, yeah, that's the that's the thing that mm. you know, fucking Activision. Are you kidding? Out of all the for people, real, all the people to do this, it's it's very interesting. So that might cause a shift the fanfare at E3 I want to see how they pronounce this it's oh okay oh here comes the multiplayer la 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 hey, you're gonna get the, the zombies la 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 so if you and your friends want more of a challenge and you're ready to do zombies you can buy the season pass oh that's a zombie season pass yeah all future multiplayer DLC and battle royale blah 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 we do and steal it will be free for now on yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's for real though. Everyone's gonna, <laughs> everyone's gonna lose their mind. That's gonna be great. Mario is coming to Black Ops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really funny. Uh, okay, before okay, we got. I just want to say a quick thing about Star Fox Racing. <laughs> Go ahead. It's, it's this just is a, like what, Jerry Springer's what, final what, thought. What? Wait, what? That's it. That's all I got. What? I, I, I don't know, man. I said so. I actually put it on Twitter. I don't. I hope it works. I think for the vehicles, it'll be a really cool game. It'll be something maybe like F-Zero. But I feel like a lot of... I feel like Star Fox is like in this weird middle zone where they're not wacky enough to succeed and they're not realistic in mm. some sense to succeed. Because I feel like those are those racing games that are always big. So it's always like a Forza or a Mario Kart. Oh, what are you talking about? They're trying to make it like Diddy Kong Racing. That's exactly <laughs> right. It's so weird. Can you see like mini Falco Falcons? Like, ah. Oh. Well, he, uh, it's pretty smooth driving, Fox. Like, fuck off. Like, and I don't. Andros, <laughs> Andros would be whispering. You can't break me. Nah. It breaks itself. Yeah. yeah, that's what I, I basically. It's like ah, uh, fo- like Fox. I killed your father. You fell off my track. Oops. You got right back on. Wahaha. Like fucking what? Let's race for pink slips. I don't know, man. I just I don't see it. I I think it could be cool for the race. Oh, I don't believe it. 
<laughs> I don't believe this. I only think the racing the itself would be cool, but I think it'll aesthetically suffer. Fuck this. <laughs> Star, uh, that's what we're getting. <laughs> Two weeks E3, Star Fox racing. I wish we got an F Zero. Stop it. I wish we got F Zero. We're lucky we got this Black Ops thing today. <laughs> Star Fox Racing. I could be... I don't know. I could be totally... Mario Rabbids, we were totally wrong about. I'll take that one to the grave. <laughs> what? I don't know. It could be good. It re I really want it to be good is more what I... That's where that's coming. I want it to be good. I don't... I don't it. You don't want it at all? Oh. It's just gonna be weird. I wanna see some... It's gotta be hyper-realistic if it's gotta do it. I but that's weird. a bunch of animals racing in space on steal the green screen go to Petco <laughs> and make my own video game <laughs> I'm just mad they didn't make a normal Star Fox just not, damn it man it's that easy oh yeah cause people I want it I have wanted it I honestly uh, with rage anything can happen hmm? you have people like Tim Geddes who will stand by that game for what it is for rage no Star Fox Adventures oh oh god like, we played even, that man that game is you will fight all right. I don't know. I'm not gonna. Hey, I'm not gonna hate him. He's allowed to like whatever he likes. I will. So call. Where can they find you? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at theferg91. You can find me on twitchtv theferg and on the bad inputs Instagram. We're gonna find you. You can find me at King James 23 <laughs> <laughs> I'm down 0 2 You got to root for me. <laughs> it's looking pretty tough. It's looking for new players. You can find me at Twitch at twitch.tv slash bad inputs. It's bad with two D's. Yep. D -d 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 -d. Double D. And you can find us at Bad Inputs on YouTube. Yeah, Jr. Smith. Don't call. Don't don't call his cell phone anymore, man. He's 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 tra He's leaving. <laughs> you know I call that cell phone line uh, the pipeline. Ha! Because you're because you're yeah because you're getting you're getting piped by the Celtics. <laughs>